Hello friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, My Exam Coaching. As you all are aware that uh, upcoming exams are in the pipeline, like bank exams, then uh, staff selection commission, even recently the railway recruitment board, RRB exams are announced their date. So many exams are, are coming in the next few months. So today we have selected a topic which is common for all these exams. That is how to find the square root of a perfect square number. So this type of questions are normally asked in every uh, competitive exams. So let us see how to find the square root of perfect square numbers. Before going to any examples or questions, let me give you some pattern how it is seen. For example, we want to we we know the square of one is always one. We know square of two is four. Square of three is nine. Square of 4 is 16, 5 square 25, 6 square 36, 7 square 49, 8 square 64, 9 square 81 and 10 square 100. This is symbol everybody knows. But there is a pattern in it. That is what we need to find out. So if you know the pattern, then it is easy to find out the square root of any number. You can see here 1 square is 1 and 9 square is 81. 1 square and 9 square, both the number end with 1. 1 square end with 1. 9 square is also end with 1. So any perfect square whose last digit is equal to 1, they will have a square root either ending with 9 or ending with 1. So, any number which end with 1, their square root will be either ending with 1 or ending with 9. This is our first pattern. Next, here you have 4, here also you have 4. That is 2 square is 4 and 8 square is also ending with the 4. 2 square 4, 8 square 64, that number is also ending with the 4. So we can conclude any number ending with the 4, any perfect square ending with the 4, its root will be ending with either 2 or 8. So any number ending with the 4, their root will be ending either with the 2 or with the 8. The next 9. 9, 3 square is also 9 and 7 square is also ending with 9. 3 and 7. So, any number ending with 9, any perfect square ending with 9, their root will be ending with either 3 or 7. So, any number ending with 9, their root will be ending either with 3 or 7. So, their root will be either 3 or 7. Then comes 16. Here you have 6. 36 here you have 6 so 4 square is 36 uh, 4 square is 16 ending with the 6 6 square is 36 ending with the 6 so any perfect square ending with the 6 at the last their root will be ending with either 4 or 6 this is a pattern so any number ending with the 6 their root will be ending either with the 4 or 6 either 4 or 6 so now last one is last two 25 25 is the number ending with the 5. Any perfect square ending with the 5, their root also will be ending with the 5. So, for 5, you have 5 only. And any number ending with the 0, their root will be also ending with the 0. For 0, it is 0 only. So, 10, 10 square, 100, 100 square, 10,000, like that. So, now we have a pattern. Now, we have a pattern. So, I will remove this and we use this pattern. So, what we have seen is any number ending with 1, their root will be ending with 1 and 9. Any number ending with 4, their root will be ending with 2 and 8. Any number ending with 9, their root will be ending with 3 and 7. Any number ending with 6, their root will be ending with 4 and 6. Any number ending with 5, their root also will be ending with 5. And any number ending with 0, if it is a perfect square, their root also will be ending with 0. So here if you see, we have the numbers 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 0. 5, 6, 9 and 0. 
in between some numbers are missing there is no 2 3 7 and 8 here so we'll take that numbers separate 2 3 7 8 so from here you can conclude any perfect square any number which is ending with the 2 3 7 and 8 this disease that cannot be a perfect square any number ending with the 2 3 7 and 8 for example i am telling 238 this is a number ending with the 8 so any number ending with the last digit 8 7 3 or 2 such numbers are not perfect squares clear yes so now we'll see how to find out the square root of a number within seconds uh, for example i'll take i want to find out the square root of 324 we'll start with a small number then we'll go with the three digit four digits five digits method is same only you want to find out the square root of 324 what is the square root of 324 so with this you can find out very fast we will take 324 here 324 and from the right after two digit put a line now within three what is a perfect square one square one ones are one two twos are four four is a bigger number than three so we cannot take two we'll take only one so within three the perfect root is one and last digit is four the last digit four means the last digit four means this root can end either with the two or with the eight so answer can be either 1 and 2 12 or it can be 1 and 8 18 so your number can be your root of this number can be either 12 or 18 why because first what we have to do from the right after two digit put a line and see within three what is the square root one ones are one two twos are four four we don't have here we have only three so within three we can take a maximum square root is one one square 2 square 4 is a bigger number than this. So, we cannot take 2 here. We can take only 1 here. So, that 1 we will put here. Then we will see the last digit. Last digit is 4. From the pattern we have already seen that if the last digit end with 4, their square root will end with either 2 or 8. So, if it end with 2, I will get to 1 and 2, 12 as a number. If it end with 8, I will get the answer 1 and 8, 18 as the answer. Now, the trick is very simple. 12 and 18 12 and 18 are two numbers between 10 and 20 12 and 18 are two numbers between 10 and 20 so 10 what is the square of 10 100 what is the square of 20 400 what is the number given to you 324 so 324 is near to 100 or near to 400 if you put this number here between 100 and 400 324 will be somewhere here 324 that is near to 100 so near to 100 near to 400 so near to 400 means we will take near to 20 this number as the root so our root is 18 i hope you understood so once again we'll go with some other examples you can pause the video and note it okay so i want to find out the root of uh, 576 root of 576 so now how will you do it 576 is taken here we'll do a little fast then last from the last two digits within five what is the perfect root one ones are one two twos are four three threes are nine nine i cannot take so three two twos are four so twos are there so i have first digit will be two then now my last digit end with a six when the last digit ends with a six I can take either 4 or 6 as my last digit. So, my answer will be either 24 or 26. Either 24 or 26. Now, there are two methods. You can multiply 24 into 24 to check whether you are getting it or not. Or you can multiply 26 into 26 and to check whether you are getting this number or not. Or the other method is 24 and 26. 24 and 26 are two numbers between 20 and 30 easy method so 20 square is 400 and 30 square is 900 your number is 576 if i put that 576 here 576 will be nearer to 400 so this number is taken as the root so your answer is 24 clear so now we'll go with uh, one more example Uh, I want to find out the root of 
841 for example 841 we don't know the root of 841 i want to find out the root of 841 so i have taken 841 here and after two digit from the right put a line within 8 what is the maximum square 1 1s are 1 2 2s are 4 3 3s are 9 9 i cannot take so maximum is 2 2 is the first ans digit first digit of the answer then last digit end with 1 1 means either it can be 1 or 9 so this can be 21 or 29 my answer can be either 21 or 29 so now i will take this here 21 and 29 both of them are between 20 and 30 20 square is 400 30 square is 900 what is my number my number is 841 so if i put 80, 841 here 841 will be nearer to 900 than 400 if it is nearer to 900 this is taken as the answer so your answer will be 29 you can check it it is correct so this is the method of uh, finding the square root of three digit numbers now suppose you want to apply this method for a four digit number or a five digit number the same method can be applied for four digit or five digit everywhere so for example uh, I want to find out the root of 1024, 1024. I want to find out the root of this number. So, I will take 1024 aside, 1024. From the right, after two digit, put a line. Then see this number, this is 10. So, within 10, what is the maximum possible square root? That is 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16. 16 we cannot accommodate here, maximum we can accommodate. 3 square that is 9 so 3 square 9 means my first digit of the answer will be 3 now last digit end with the 4 when my last digit end with the 4 my answer can be either 2 or 8 so here either it is 32 or I, my answer will be 38 now 32 is correct or 38 is correct that we have to check so we will take 32 here and 38 here 32 and 38 both the numbers are between 30 and 40 so we will take 30 square is 900, 40 square is 1600, our number is 1024. If I put that 1024 here, 1024 will be a number near to 900. So, I will take 32 as the answer. So, this is 32 is the answer. If you don't want to do this process, from here also you can check 32 multiplied by 32, you should get this answer whether you are getting this answer or not from here also you can cross check so this can be applied for uh, three digit four digit five digit etc so as a last example we'll go with a five digit number uh, two double nine two nine i want to find out the square root of this number so again we will take this two double nine 29 then from the right put a line and 299 within 299 what is the maximum number i can accommodate the maximum square root will be 17 17 square is 17 into 17 is 289 so i can put it as answer first two digit of my answer will be 17 and the last digit ends with 9 so either it can be 3 or it can be 7 so 173 will be my answer or 179 will be my answer now from here you can check you multiply 173 into 173 check whether you are getting this or not or you multiply 179 into 179 and check whether you are getting this answer or not if you multiply it you get this as the answer so this answer will be 173 so this method can be used for any digit number and method is same from the right you have to leave two digit and remaining digits you have to see within that what is the maximum square root you can accommodate and this pattern you have to remember then it is easy to find out the square root of any number this will be very helpful for you friends when you prepare for your competitive exams you can save a lot of time many questions uh, will be there where you can apply these techniques so prepare well all the very best and for more videos please don't forget to subscribe to your favorite channel my exam coaching we will be meeting you with more videos and more, more study materials bye bye